Welcome to Module 2 of the University of Winnipeg's Green Office Certification Program. In this video, we will be discussing compost, recycling, and waste. First, we're going to talk about disposing correctly. Use the compost, recycling, and waste bins properly and avoid sending waste to the landfill. It's important to know that what we accept for recycling and waste changes sometimes based on our service provider. Be attentive to ask the CSO to avoid putting things in the wrong bins. It's also important to check the labels if you need help deciding which bin your waste goes into. If the bags do become contaminated with improper contents, then they will be sent to the landfill. There is no staff for separating the garbage. This is the Brady Landfill in Winnipeg. Landfills contain everyone's garbage. When you throw something out, this is where it goes. Waste is the few things that cannot be reused, composted, or recycled. The landfill is the city's garbage dump. Every bit of garbage thrown away into a bag will end up here. It's time to start rethinking what we're sending to the landfill. By composting and recycling, you can decrease the amount of waste sent to the landfill by 75%. On campus, the majority of the things that you're throwing away can go into the compost or recycling bins, while the smallest stream is actually waste. That means, of the stuff you're getting rid of, the smallest proportion should go into the garbage. So why is garbage so bad? The stuff we throw into landfills represents natural resources that were extracted from the planet, such as trees, minerals, and petroleum products. It takes a lot of energy to extract these products and turn them into something that we use. Making and transporting these products contributes to climate change and a variety of other environmental problems. Also, landfills take up valuable space near cities. Methane is created in the piles of garbage and it is 20 times stronger than the leader in GHG emissions, CO2. Decomposing garbage can leach into the earth and soil and this is a hazard. Now we're going to talk about reducing and reusing paper. The first thing you can do is always make sure that you're printing and photocopying on both sides of the paper. Another thing you can do is collect one-sided paper for notes. Printing and photocopying on both sides of the paper should be an easy task to achieve because most of the printers and photocopiers on campus are already preset to double-sided printing. Another way you can reduce paper is by sending and receiving electronic mail instead of getting paper mail. Kindly request electronic mail from those who are sending you paper mail. You can avoid paper from paychecks by requesting an electronic signature for your timesheets. Another way to reduce paper is by not printing handouts. Send these documents via email and request the same from others. Now we're going to talk about rethinking your purchases. Rethink any purchase, big or small, and when it is time to buy something new, go for something that's going to last a long time. Consider what's going to happen to that purchase once you can't use it anymore. Try purchasing things that are biodegradable or recyclable. You should also try purchasing certified sustainable products. When you have to print your documents, print on Forest Stewardship Council certified paper or on paper that is equally certified. And make sure that you're printing with vegetable-based inks. Now we're going to talk about recycling. Recycle your ink cartridges. You can bring these to shipping and receiving to be recycled properly. You can also recycle your batteries. Batteries under 5 kilograms in size and cell phones of any maker model can be put into the call to recycle bins. These bins are located in coffee rooms or in designated locations in your department. Health and safety regulations require that some batteries be placed individually into bags. These bags are attached to the call to box. All rechargeable batteries and lithium batteries and cell phones require bagging. Place one battery or phone in each bag. Other batteries do not require bagging. When the call to recycle box is full, please have someone in your department bring it to shipping and receiving. You should also bring larger e-waste, including computer monitors and processors, to shipping and receiving to be recycled properly as well. Thank you for watching this video and please contact the CSO if you have any further questions.